Hello and welcome to IV for You. Today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Shadow Escaper. This game is free in the App Store and it's compatible with the iPhone 3GS and above, uh, iPod Touch 3 and above, and the iPad. This app requires an iOS of 5.0 or later. And um, I haven't actually played this game yet. I just got it, like, right now. So, um... I don't really know what to expect, but it seemed pretty cool. So, it looks like it doesn't quite go in landscape mode. It also looks like it's by this blue diamond. Uh, I don't remember what the company's called, but that diamond was in some of the games I previously reviewed, which was 1 vs. 100 and Deal or No Deal, which I did not have a good time with. So, hopefully this won't be as bad. And we'll see if it goes if it goes landscape in a second, otherwise I'll have to turn it. <sighs> uh, let's see. Uh, that should be good for now. So let's see, character select. Looks like you could be one of two people. Wolven Wonder, called Al, I think that was, and a dainty demon called Lily. Oh, we'll be a wolf. Or Wolven Wonder. I wish this would go landscape because it's hard to play this way. I'm really far from the camera, my arms are stretched out. Got a login bonus. Alright, looks like this is the main menu. Um, let's see. Exclamation mark. News. Looks like there is no news. Bonus. Take all. I don't think there's any bonus right now either. Achievements, I'm guessing. Ranking. Okay, it's ranking. That was close. Um, settings. Tilt sensitivity. Does that mean this is a tilt game? I don't know if this might be kind of hard to do on the camera. You turn on or off the tutorial music and sound effects, log into a social network. Um, allies. I have no in game friend allies registered. Well, I don't know, let's just play and see what happens. Run, don't get caught. So right now it looks pretty much just like Temple Run or any other of those games that are in that style. Tilt it to turn. Slide up to jump and probably slide down. Yep. Slide down to slide. This isn't too pleasant right now because... When I have it straight, he's all the way to the left. I don't know why that is. <sighs> now the reason I got this game, I kind of thought it might be kind of like this. But it said something about fighting back. Like, I think you run for a little bit and then you have to attack or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I guess I'm not going to find out because I just crashed into a fence or a gate. I got something chasing after me now. It 
So I think the music is pretty cool. The graphics are pretty good. It seems the character itself, when I'm collecting these orbs, seems, or even as he's running, it seems a little bit glitchy in a way. Not glitchy, but just kind of jumpy, I guess. But the enemies, or the, whatever those are, the, those fine things, they look pretty cool. And the background looks nice. I don't know what that X means. I wonder if there's a way I could attack or something. Didn't say anything about it, though. Five seconds. Let's see what happens. And Revenge. So it looks like I turned into a big werewolf at night. I think I was supposed to tap that, but I was not expecting it. So hopefully I can get there again without dying and Maybe this time I'll be prepared. Is that a friend or an enemy? Looks like an enemy. I don't know. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Alright. 30 seconds left. Now I wonder if all I had to do there was just tap or if you do a few other things. Because if it's just one tap and that's it, then I'd have to say... It was a good try, but um, still pretty much the exact same thing as Temple Run, with one extra feature, I guess. Alright, I'm ready to tap this time. Survive two days, turn to a werewolf, tapped it, looks like that's it. And you keep going. It also looks like I have to go a certain amount of levels. I'm guessing it's going to be, what am I at right now, C? So probably three more levels. Unless it's a seven day thing, because it says three days in the top corner. I don't know if it's there on the camera. They also have the same magnet item. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So it looks like there's little missions you could do. I don't know what these allies or anything will do. In this game, um, maybe it makes your missions go by faster. Um, makes you dash, lets you gain some distance at the start. No. So it pretty much seems like even the items, they kind of took that. And it looks like to restart, I have to use a stamina, which means this is one of those games where you have limited play day or whatever. Recover all stamina. 10,000. That is a lot. Negate one hit for a set time. Become invincible. That's in Temple Run. This dash is in Temple Run, Super Dash. Clear Mission Objective 1. Looks like you get some game art. What's this? Extends aura duration. Increases energy acquisition. Decreases... Decreases stamina usage. So it looks like you could unlock outfits too. And you still have to pay coins for them. Well, I think this is just to unlock her since I picked the guy first. And then I have to unlock these as well. Energy. You could buy 5,000 energy for 80 coins. Do I even have any coins? I didn't. I don't remember collecting any coins. Well, that's in the shop. So 
survival mode. Breaking from imprisonment, you leap down to the island skies. I must run through this land of Minnesota. They just will. Even survival mode costs some survival tickets. I'm guessing that that one you'll just keep on going. I think if you just tap to play, how it had uh, the days. I'm getting a gift. Oh, wait, receive a gift getting a higher rank on the survival ranking. Oh. I have to wait. Um, if you just tap to play, it seems like it'll just keep going until either, I don't know if it's a certain amount of days or until you get an A on the mission, or maybe after you get, uh, after you get a good grade, it just stays there and you just keep going until you die. I'm not quite sure, but it seems like, I'm guessing survival is just endless. And, um, so that seems like everything except for my page. Let's see what that is. Energizer, level up for more potent energy. And extend duration by leveling up. Multiplier. Magnet. Oh, I'm guessing these are the, um... Are these the, up the upgrades you collect, maybe? You get a two times multiplier. The magnet. Wings, I'm guessing, um, you probably fly over, I don't know, I don't know what to guess. <laughs> you could fly, boost your stamina. So it looks like pretty much everything. Oh, uh, I'll go ahead and try survival mode and see if anything different happens. So it looks like it tells me some other people's records that have played this before. I did not know I, if I'd fall off the edge or not, but I guess if I, I can if I jump too high. Seventh place. These are all computers, not even real people. Probably if I had friends though, then I could play against real people. Um, title. So it looks like, yeah, it took one survival ticket. I don't know what this time is for. It might reset the ranks, or I don't know. So if I get fourth, I'll get a costume ticket. Third, I'll get I'll get, it looks like three costume tickets and one aura. So depending if I get fourth and above, I'll get a prize. So I'll try one more time. I don't know um, if I'm gonna have to buy extra survival tickets and, and um, what was it? The little, whoops. This is really difficult to control when he doesn't stay, when, when it's straight up like this, he's not staying straight in the middle. So I kind of have to keep it like that to keep him in the middle. That might be because I'm standing up as opposed to having it down like this and playing this way. Just for the camera, but um, not quite sure. But before I use up all my energy, or whatever you call it, on this, I'm going to have to do that off camera. But it looks like besides that, that's pretty much the the whole game. Um, it's pretty much a, another Temple Run style game, except that extra feature where you get an attack back. And um, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And don't forget to leave some requests of apps that you want to see in the future.